Hey everyone, whilst I was away on holiday, the US decided to pull out of Afghanistan and the country collapsed faster than Diane Abbott getting into a deck chair. The Taliban are back in charge and they've got lots of ideas about what to do with the place, like a much bigger and more violent version of one of those TV home makeover shows. You know, perhaps they'll convert the spare bedroom into an arms depot. And in the garden, what about a nice water feature? Except instead of water, of course, it's the blood of the innocent. And the kids' treehouse, well, that could double up as a gallows. Because quite contrary to the media's suggestion, the place is actually quite far from being a lawless wild west. Really quite the opposite. Say what you will about the Taliban, they do tend to be, quote, tough on crime, tough on the causes of crime. An expression, of course, first used by Tony Blair just around the time he got the UK involved in Afghanistan. It's just a shame really that on that list of quote causes of crime they also tend to include innocuous things like owning a phone or being a woman. You know, when it comes to the government's policies I actually misread things initially and mistakenly thought they were being quite progressive when they said that like many western countries they didn't want driver's licenses to just have two gender options. Albeit then I read the detail and saw that rather than adding genders they want to restrict it back to men only. Anyway the regime change was fairly swift largely owing to the former Afghan president fleeing the country quote to avoid bloodshed presumably his own I'm guessing. He's currently living it up in the UAE having smuggled got $160 million out of the country's treasury before he left, albeit I guess that's something a lot of people aspire to doing when they've just been sacked from a job. As for everybody else trying to flee the country, there were ghastly scenes broadcast on television with images of babies being thrown over barbed wire fences and people dying in the struggle to board what few planes there were. In many respects it reminded me of the last time I flew with Ryanair, albeit I guess there's not a Weatherspoons in Kabul. On viewing the scenes, Harry and Meghan were quote left speechless, which made a nice pleasant change, you know, from their usual torrent of inane, touchy feely rubbish. But anyway, thus ends America's decades long involvement in the country, and we can thus welcome in a warmongering caliphate in the side of the Russians and Chinese. Brought to us not to the world by President Trump, but by sleepy Uncle Joe Biden, who's probably senile enough that he thinks the Soviet Union's still trying to invade the place. There was an astonishing story about him this last week when it was revealed that Osama bin Laden personally intervened to prevent an assassination attempt on him ten years ago when he was still the vice president under Obama. This was on the logic that he was so profoundly incompetent that if he ever got into the Oval Office he'd be an Al-Qaeda asset. As an example of where things stand, this last week he gave an interview where he claimed his son had fought in Afghanistan, which he didn't, and that he was in the Navy, which he wasn't. And that wouldn't even make sense the place is a landlocked country. I do feel sorry for him in some respects. He's an elderly man who's suffered two aneurysms, has a heart condition, clearly his dimension is being abused by his handlers and the rest of the Democratic Party. But I guess we are where we are. Afghanistan will revert to being a theocratic hellscape and tens of thousands will be literally put to the sword. But at least the cabinet that allowed it to all transpire was diverse and gender inclusive. In a couple of months when ghastly footage comes out of girls being whipped to death for the crime of not covering their face, it might look very painful but at least no one's feelings will have been hurt. And I guess that's all that matters these days. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.